What's up guys? So in my hand is a contactor and I've talked about this lots of times, but this is a really good visual. So the backstory, went to change some bearings, noticed that the blower motor wasn't running, which runs 24 seven. So I opened up the electrical, the contactor was pulled in, but there was no power to the contactor. Ended up finding two dead fuses. Checked the motor, windings were good, across and to ground, it was a three phase motor. So the motor was good. Uh, so I went about my bearing change, I thought maybe the bearings were the issue, maybe the, they got too tight and the fuse is blue because the motor over amp. So I changed the bearings, but I went back to the electrical section because I wanted to see if anything else was tied in with those fuses. And this contactor was. So beside it was the blower contactor, and off the line side of the blower contactor it was jumped over to here, so it was also feeding power to this. This is what I found. So right here, these terminals had a short across. This happens when dirt or carbon or dust lands on the back of this, right? And then moisture embeds itself. How does moisture embed itself? Well, if it's really humid outside, like if it's raining or snowing, there's moisture in the air. So, or condensation, right? And it embeds itself, embeds itself in here. Because moisture carries current, the current flows across the two lines and shorts blowing the fuses. This is very, very common in my line of work. I see this all the time. And you can go to a machine when it's dry outside, take your meter out and you'll find nothing, start it up, it runs. The next rainy day, it will pop a fuse again. So this is most, in most cases it's called carbon tracking, but it can happen with dirt and dust as well. This is a really good visual I wanted to show you guys. Um, what, what else can happen too is that it may not happen back here. This is a really bad design actually having these terminals back here, but it can happen where you see the terminals melted up here a little bit. So when you give the, the machine a visual, always check the line side of contactors for this because it can happen and it happens quite a bit and it can trip you up. And if you know how to find this, you'll be the hero. Trust me, I've been to calls where there's been intermittent fuses blowing for for months, once a month or every three weeks or something, the fuses blow. And I found stuff like this with a Megger because what can happen instead of going across, like, the, like let's say this is um, a panel right here. It can actually move across and short out to the panel. So with a Megger, if you go from the terminal to ground, you can actually find this Megging bad to ground. And I used the Subco M500 for this and found tons of stuff uh, just with that tool. So anyway, I thought I'd pass that information along, guys. Happy HVACing.